let's suppose me and Kalila broke up and I disappeared. I quit comedy, whatever, right? And I got a sex change. Yeah. With all the parts, what, right? Which parts? I just want to know everything. My va vag, everything. I turn my penis into a vag, the whole thing. I get breasts. What is I lose name? weight. I look different. What's your name? What? What's your name? Da -dong -dong. No, it's Bobby with an IE. No, da -dong -dong. Oh, like B Bobby. Oh, yeah, yeah. Bobby. British no, but I, no, I want to ch just say um, Valoria. Oh, that's my niece's uh, my niece's Yeah, yeah. Name. So I'm Valoria. That's so future. And, and we're at a bar, like we're at an Asian Ex Excellence Awards or some sort of award show, right? <laughs> I know, but right. <laughs> you never go to those. I know, I know, I know. Oh, but that, yeah. Valoria so does. then I see you. Valoria does. Valoria does. Yeah. And I see you there. Valoria. And I hit on you. Would you know that it was me? Um. Okay. Look. <laughs> look. 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 Would you know? <laughs> look. When some people transition, you can you can tell, right? Right. But I with look, me, maybe I. Yeah. I feel like you'd look like te uh, Tila Tequila. Right. T I look like te Tila Tequila. But like more like water. <laughs> no, no, no. I said I, I would lo li listen. Because uh, the only reason why I would do it, I w right, would be just so that I could test to see if I could fuck you. Right. Like you mean to trick me? To trick you into thinking I'm somebody else. So I would, I would like really buy into the role. Right? I, say, I would lose the weight. I would get a super tan. Well, also, I get nice breasts. The fact that you're at the Asian Excellence Awards, I wouldn't even think of you ever being there. <laughs> right. So, so that's, that's, a, that's another. Won. Right. That's right. Right. One. So I go. You're gonna, um, you're gonna hi. Need to get a liposuction like a lot. <laughs> Maybe we just wow. Like, that's fucking rude. No, no, no. I have an idea. I have an idea. Oh yeah. my god, we're gonna do it the Kardashian way. We're gonna harvest all your front fat and put it into your butt, like a Brazilian butt lift, like a BBL. Right. Okay. That's why they. That's why they keep getting pregnant because they harvest all that fat and they put it in their butt. Right. But the hole, though, I would make it as no. tight as possible. For you. Now let me ask you something. What? Okay. I hope it's <laughs> right, right. Not just to me. <laughs> yeah. yeah. yeah <laughs> right. So let me ask you something. You think that I would be able to fool you? I'm not trying to be mean. Yeah. I think you have a very distinct look. That <laughs> no, 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 I, no. I, I said I'm not trying That's to be mean. Be, you're being mean. Did I say you should get a bunch of liposuction? You're, I didn't say that. I did not. No, say that. I would lose the weight. My I, voice I, would change. Guy would take the extra estrogen. Yeah, but he'd still like look at your short like short arms and no no but i'll tell you why because baby legs um, can i tell you why is because when i was at the i'm a feet guy <laughs> <laughs> I, I hate admitting that because cindy yeah. always calls me out for that i right. am a feet guy i do look at but at feet. the at asian excellence awards i'm wearing uggs <laughs> all right i'm wearing uggs Ew. right and thick you're, wearing, wait, you're wearing a fucking gown with uggs <laughs> <laughs> yeah so i'm wearing a gown and I have these beautiful beza bedazzled uggs okay right? And you, it's a, it's an interesting like look. It's Eskimo chic, right? Oh, and I'm yeah. I and I hit on you, right? And you my voice is completely it. different, <laughs> right? Would would I fool you? And you're saying no. Well, because you also have a very certain cadence with your voice. No, I, mean, I would I, change my voice would be changed no, no, because no, would, the, would, the, would, the, would the estrogen change my voice? The pitch, yeah. but you yeah. do have a very if I if I hear uh, like a hot chick going like hi, the thing is that the thing is that I'm Valoria. The thing is is that the thing is this. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I know it's you. Yeah, yeah. Oh, you do? Yeah. So hi, I'm Valoria, and um, I'm just an upcoming comic actress. Oh, cool. And I really, you know, it's so sh a shame that Tiger Belly is no more. I was a really big fan of that show. Yeah. Are you just as funny? No, I'm, I'm, I'll play it as not as funny. Okay. I'm a really big fan of the show. Interesting. Hey, I just wonder, um, I'm a v, v, a virgin? <laughs> I'm a V. I'm a V virgin. Are you? I am. I'm from Missouri. <laughs> That's not a... Missouri, Missouri? way well, I call it Missouri. Cool. It's Missouri and um, Lake Havasu, Missouri. Is that mustache for a role? No, I don't have a mustache, dude, but dude, I'm fucking. But dude, but dude, but dude. If that's the giveaway, would you call me but dude? <laughs> oh, but dude, and then you go Bobby. Bobby's like, <laughs> Kalila, where are you? Uh, all right. Wait, so is you... she with you still? No, I'm I had broke. No, He's a completely exactly. transition. Jesus. He's moved on to. Love so you don't, you don't else. think that you don't think I could then? Honestly, you are. You do have some very distinct features, even with surgery. Yeah. You have very specific face. Mm. Oh my god, you're being so rude. No, no, no. And then the feet. I, the feet. I can. I know your feet. I have Uggs, because at the point that to the point where you're fucking seeing my feet. But that's also questionable. He's like, why is why is she wearing a Chanel dress with, with Uggs? Uggs. <laughs> Fine. All right. I'm wear. Uh, uh, all right. Let, let me see. Uh, what if I focus all my attention on my feet? Mm -hmm. You would right. get feet surgery. 
What if he chopped yeah. off my feet, skinned it, and put it on his feet? Yeah. You know, I have pretty nice feet. I did what Buffalo Bill did in Silence of the Lambs. I cut skinned off my feet, feet, right? Yeah. I made like a moccasin out of fucking cool. human feet. I'd be like, oh, cool. Nice stitches around your ankles. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> what happened? Hey, Frankenfoot. Hey, Frankenfoot. <laughs> <laughs> um, all right, so you wouldn't. Yeah, but I feel mm-hmm. like you are really soft and learning. I am. And I have to, and I, as time goes on, I had to, I had to, I had to live in the world of YouTube in terms of like doing show business one way and the YouTube coming along. You You're fucking welcome. son of a bitches. You're welcome so you much. Son, you in the Casms and the, you know what I mean? Yeah, I like and her. Tim, what's his name? Tim Gung Gung. What's his name? Yeah, Tim Gung Gung. Timothy Delieto. Delieto, yeah, him. He's going by Chantarong Soon now. Is that, is that um, Official uh, change. a move yep. because um, Delieto is in a probes? I don't know. I think he just uh, decided to mature. Wait, what's his new name? De La Ghetto is name. from from the ghetto. It's from Fresh. Yeah, it's it's it's, from, a, it's, a, it's take on the Fresh, Fresh Prince, Prince of Bel Air because he loved that show. Oh so wow! But he decided, yeah, just to go by uh, his real last name. It's like Chinaman going to Kid Walk. Yeah, I talk about Chinaman, right? Well, what happened to Chinaman? You know who Chinaman is? No. <laughs> is this a wrestler? <laughs> no, there was a comic named Chinaman. I've told you about Chinaman. Mm-hmm. You told me about a comic named Chicken. No, there's Chicken. Yeah. There's a lot of food out there. <laughs> okay, there's a lot of food. There's chicken. There's hamburger. Yeah. Um, but then there's um, there was a guy named Mark. He's a comic from Texas. He's half, I think he's half Korean, and he he's the comic that um, taught Pablo Francisco how to do impressions. Mm. He was very talented. Mm-hmm. And he, by being in Texas, he's like, this is during the early '90s. Mm-hmm. He said, I need to change my, you know what I mean? I need a hook. Mm-hmm. So he inst- instead of, his name is Mark Britton. Mm-hmm. And instead of going by that, he changed his name to Chinaman. <laughs> so he performed as Chinaman. Do you know this? Mm-mm. And he s- would sell out every show in Texas. Where were his, what was his like comedy and bits? Was it he would put, a he would put He would put eyeliner on a little bit. And then we're like, you know, I mean, those Chinese, you know, Chinese yeah. things. But then he would like do hip hop stuff and yo, yo, what's up? You know what I mean? Do the whole fucking thing and sing oh. and the whole thing. And he used to sell out, you know what I mean? Places. And I was around in the late 90s. I had done shows with him, Mark. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And I remember like him coming up to me and he goes, hey, man, I just I can't get anything going in my career. And I go, oh, yeah, because your name is Chinaman. <laughs> <laughs> what's the, what's the yeah, big deal, Bobby? Yeah, it's, your fucking name, uh, stage name, is Chinaman. So then over the years, you, so he goes, you're right. So he changes. Guess what he changed it to? What? Black kid, man? Kid Walk. Oh, okay. <laughs> no. Yeah. He's like now a play kid, walk. kid Rock? What? A play a kid kid rock. I don't know. So he's still a comic. Mm-hmm. Very wow. talented. Very funny. And he um still in Texas. Mm-hmm. I think he's married to a white chick, right? And he's mm-hmm. go he goes by his kid walk. Wow. Yeah. So um hmm. interesting. What do you mean? Kid interesting. Walk. Yeah. But check his comedy out. He's really talented. Yeah. I believe you. Mark yeah. Britton, yeah. Wait, is that is that his right right real name? Yeah. Mark Britton goes stage name the China Man and there's also <laughs> <laughs> I told you, I told you, I told you, Wait, I told it's, you. It's the China Man. <laughs> oh fuck, my bad. And then uh Kid Walk. Yeah, he's now Kid Walk. It's funny how um you know, you go on the road and, you know, you can go to like Caroline's in New York or any of the clubs in L.A. And, you know, you see the headshots and you go, um, oh, I know that person. I know that person. I know that person. Mm-hmm. Right. But when you go out on the road and you play these clubs and you see the headshots, mm-hmm. you don't you can't you've never heard of any of these people. Yeah. And, and it's it's fun to see like what they tried to do. Mm-hmm. Right. The parakeet. You know what I mean? Conundrum. <laughs> you know what I mean? Yeah. What? No, just like that would be somebody's name. The parakeet conundrum. <laughs> and they'd be on stage, you know what I mean? Headshot with, you know what I mean? In yeah. feathers, yeah, yeah, right? Yeah, yeah. And just like, you know, the nothing man. Yeah. Right? And a, a garbage pail, like a little garbage pail over the face. Right? And they have a tuxedo and they're doing this on the, you know what I mean? And like they did everything in the book. And a lot of these people still do it in the Midwest. Mm-hmm. There's all these like little side rooms and like little, um, you know, comedy clubs that generally like, that's why Pauly taught me, did because there was a time before I did Tiger Belly yeah. where I couldn't sell tickets as much. 
right? Because I would only play big cities. And Polly was like, dude, you're doing it the wrong way. You got to do it my way. And what he does is he goes to cities that all these mainstream comics refuse to go to. Yep. Yeah, he talked about it. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So it's like, it's very interesting to me. But there's millions of acts out there that um, we'll never be privy to. And uh, China, the Chinaman, excuse me, <laughs> is just one of them. Thank you. You know? What hook would you have if you were in the Midwest you're trying to make make a name, Gilbert? <laughs> kind of like Valoria. You would do that's your name? I like that. On I stage? I don't know what. What's your hook, though? Valoria is a Pixie song. Oh. That's yeah. why my niece is named after that song because her dad is um, is a big fan of pixies. I, I like bandanas, so I'd always have bandanas wrapped around all my joints. Oh yeah, yeah. There was this one comic named Betsy Sawkind. Yeah, and she would go up on stage, and they would she'd be introduced herself as the first deaf comic. Deaf? Yeah. But she's yeah. not deaf. So she would, yeah. And her whole 30, 40 minute act, she would just be a deaf comic. Yeah. And people would laugh because, and at the end of the show, she'd be like, I'm just kidding, guys. I'm not deaf. Oh, my <laughs> God. <laughs> what was the, what was the okay. reaction back then? La- they, people would laugh. Wow. Yeah. I'm not deaf, guys. Anyway, good night. And people would be like, <laughs> people would clap like, oh, my God. Like, yeah? Yeah. Is this, is this okay? Yeah. Oh, no. I would love to do that. That's crazy. Do a blind guy, right? Yeah. Mm-hmm. And then just, or what? Are, what's another one? Maybe come up with some sort of disability. No, no babe. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> He's thinking about his I'll special. Roll, I'll roll in. I'll roll in with like I have no legs. Oh, like babe. Captain Dan. Yeah, like Captain Dan. Yeah, I'd come in with Captain Dan. Roll in like this. Oh my God! Ro- it's 2020. I, I know. And maybe just like I was in a fire. Just bl- throw on blackface. <laughs> no, 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 no. <laughs> I, like I was in a fire, and, like, right? Lieutenant Dan with blackface. I was in that. a fire, and then at the end, right, <laughs> I would take the thing off, and I would stand up and go, ta-da, and then good night. And then people would boo you? <laughs> you think they would, or do you no, think they, they would? They would throw Molotov cocktails at you. <laughs> they would? Yes, yeah. they would. Oh. It could be mixed, depending on what part Where of the country. Where you are, yes. yeah, what yeah. part of the country you are. If it was a Trump rally, it'd kill. <laughs> you think so? Yeah. We love well. Lieutenant Dan. <laughs> <laughs> love that movie. But I would be called Lieutenant Wang. Okay, yeah, there we yeah, go. Yeah, yeah. Now we're Lieutenant getting somewhere. Wang, right? Lieutenant <laughs> Wang, right? What could be a possibly safe version of that is you came out in a wheelchair, but you just put green screen on your legs, so people know that you're not really. No, no. The the whole trick though is to fool the audience. Wow. Yeah, the artist. Yeah, the artist. Yeah. It's the pushing. It's, these are just ideas that I have in my little mind. They, you know, sometimes they won't be executed. You know, it really does hurt me though when people say that I'm dumb. On Twitter, people say that. What is the one constant insult you've heard your entire life? Joking or... That I'm dumb. So that's why... That's one? Yeah, Shafir used to do it all the time. That you're dumb, you never read a book. Mm. And just tease me, and it's just like... Sounds like trauma. You think it is? Yeah, of course. And it used to feed into something, and I'm like, maybe I am dumb. But I don't think that I am. I think that you have a different kind of intelligence. That maybe- <laughs> I love when people say that. I love when people say that. No, but that. It's, that's true, right? Like yeah. traditional classroom intelligence is yeah. not a gauge for so, like it, it doesn't speak to so many other kinds of intelligence. Well, when I, well, like, when I was in uh, junior high, not junior high, when I was in uh, uh, community college, junior high, community college, right? College. Yeah, yeah, you, you get it. And, um, you know, I, I, the first, I only did a semester, but the first, semester the only good grades I got was in philosophy because I care I for some reason I was so depressed right that I would just kind of dive into like philosophical ideas you know what I mean and you know just existentialism or 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 whatever and whatnot and I used to like you know if I if my interest is in something right I'm full I think so yeah you know what I mean but if I'm not interested in something it just it just it kind of enters my brain and leaves, you know. Yeah. I don't have like I don't absorb things. I think that you like have Star Trek: Next that. Generation. I'll absorb every information into it. Yeah. Yeah. Star Wars. <laughs> absorb every information. You That's know? how you can tell what he truly cares about or yeah. have interest because he has like a really good retention for certain details and like really specific things, like even people's names. But then um, for other things. Absolutely, like his his brain is wiped clean off of that information. Like he doesn't yeah. retain any of it mm-hmm. at all. I can't retain it. Mm. Um, so it hurts me when I have to tell him a, like my life story for the eighth time. Yeah, 
Kalala, you're different. I feel like you almost retain a little bit of everything. Yeah, that's, right? uh, that's bit, yeah. like I'm kind of an absorbatron where it's mm -hmm. like I don't need to be actively listening for me to for it to be downloaded into my hard drive. Like somehow, like if it if I happen to see it, uh, it it'll be tucked somewhere yeah. and yeah. I can retrieve it when I need to. But um, that's not a good thing. <laughs> it's not because you in life, in order to be somebody who can, you know, like have things roll off your shoulder oh, you need to have the memory of a goldfish i forget like yeah. i don't forget pains and aches like things that hurt me people who have hurt me like these things like are very fresh in my mind like i want to be like my my stepdad roger i he has like a seven seven memory seven second memory like you could you could get into like a cuss match with him and then seven, seven seconds later he'd be like do you want some coffee sweetie like he just has no memory no, he doesn't. Oh. He's just always been that way. Like, he doesn't have a very, um, you know, he doesn't retain a lot. Yeah. Like, I'll memorize how many fish Jean-Luc Picard has in the tank behind him. Crazy. Right? In an episode. I go, oh, yeah, that's two in this episode. Right? Like, I'll memorize little things on people in the background of movies and TV shows. Mm -hmm. Right? But then there's certain things that just, like, I don't know, especially, like, when it comes to science or something like that. I just don't get it. Mm. Yeah. yeah, or mathematics. Mathematics. Math. How far um, did you ever take math in college? Nah. What's and the Palomino? Was no, that I, I don't even understand it. <laughs> what I do, the only way I can do it is like at Stardew Valley. So this is how I count. So what I'll do is um, on my farm, you get these pigs, mm. and the pigs they 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 release truffles, right? Uh -huh. And it's sporadic. You don't know. You know what I mean? So what I'll do is I won't count the truffles that they've <laughs> This is so dumb. <laughs> no, this is good. Yeah, yeah, You're but not I won't, dumb. Uh, yeah. <laughs> You're not dumb, Bobby. <laughs> how no, many I won't, truffles? I won't, I, won't, I won't count how many I pick up, right? And I also won't comment, count how many I have in the chest in one of my sheds, yeah. right? So what I'll do is I'll just pick them all up, pick up, and then pick up all the all ones in the, sh in the, in the, in the chest, and then to put them in the, um, the, the, the truffle maker machine... <laughs> Right, I so I have, I have thirty truffle maker machines. You have right? thirty. Yeah, that's a bit much. So so I will. You have to work to to get these to get the truffle maker machine. Yeah, you have to make them, and each one is very difficult to make. You got to get slime, right? Classic. Yeah. And and it's either you have to farm them in 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 um, mines or you have to build a a slime farm, which I'm not gonna do. I don't have enough fucking room on my fucking farm for a slime farm. Is so you know how much space you have to take up for that? I don't know too much about slime, babe, but I trust you. <laughs> <laughs> right. You need, and then here's the, here's the proponent that is very difficult to get. Not just wood. You have to get hardwood. Okay? And hardwood, you can only get that shit two ways. Three ways. Hardwood, you can only get it from the secret for forest. That's the main way. Right? Which is far away. Yeah. You have to usually run there. It takes all day. No fast travel. The, the, uh, later in in the game, you, you can create um, these spheres or these podiums where you can fast travel to places. You sound like an engineer to me. <laughs> That's all. <laughs> Fuck you. All right. Hang on. Does this does this slime naturally occur, or are there like hagfish that produ in the water that produce uh, this slime that you then harvest? The the slime is from sl the slime creatures. Hagfish. hagfish. Like hagfish. Yeah, but they're in um. They're like little balls, and they have little faces. Yeah, yeah. Hagfish. Wait, no, hold on. Hagfish look like they're fish, but they're like little eels, actually. No, these are balls, baby. I don't like those. Well, it's fine. It's the way the <laughs> fucking game goes. I speak to the work. maker? Yeah. I don't like they're them. They're like little blobby balls, really right? And they attack. You've played it? Oh, yeah, you oh, know. Yeah, yeah. 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 You, you know about it, then. Yep. Right? So um, they're cute, right? Yeah. But when they get angry, sometimes they t change color, and they, they vibrate a little bit different. And then there's slimes with little um, um, yellow tentacles they're rare yeah and they're black and if you kill one of those you'll get like shoes or like some sort of like um a weapon okay wow that'd be nice if, if we could hunt and then when you kill an animal it's not just the meat but you get a, a golden goose yeah yeah, yeah wow. I mean, the new slides you know what i mean the yeah. spring edition that'd be nice or, or Montclair jacket mm -hmm. that's wow. nice thanks hyena yeah um so how far did you get did you ever get to the desert um, yeah, I think that's as far as I got. The desert that's up northwest. Yeah, yeah. Thank yeah. you for exactly. So the desert has the best mine there, right? And it's um, there's also these um, 
all kinds of little creatures in there, but um, they're hard to make. So anyway, that's how I can count. Hey, guys, we're going to take a really quick break to share some of our, like, favorite sponsors with you. Manscaped! You guys, Manscaped is a, pro, uh, is a device that I use in my personal life, and I have proof. Um, I'm going to show you what I did. Um, if you can see. All right, for audio listeners, Bobby see? is showing us his male it's- fupa. That's it, Manscaped, yeah, it's, the it, best men's it's, below the waist grooming. It is. It's the best. And I'll tell you why. It's easy to use, right? It's it doesn't chafe, right? Uh, there's no there's for some reason there's no bumps on my you know mm-hmm. pube wow. regions, right? And it's just a nice little. It's a nice shave, and I use it. And um, the world is about to get a less less hairy. That's right, folks. It's so weird when I go right into the print. Uh-huh. Yeah. Right after saying something, but let's do it. Yeah. The world is about to get less, 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 okay? Hairy, yeah. Yeah, the world is about to get a lot less hairy. Uh-huh. That's right, folks. You can now purchase Manscaped products. Mm-hmm. If you haven't had access to Manscaped thus far, you've gone years without using the right tools for the job. Uh-huh. Okay? If you haven't tried the Lawn Mower 3.0, by the way. This is what I use, by the way. Which we both use. Yeah. Oh. The electric trimmer. You've been missing out. This is the greatest ball trimmer on planet Earth. Their third generation trimmer features a cutting edge ceramic blade to reduce grooming accidents to keep your nuts smooth like a baby's butt. Mm-hmm. And, uh, oh, and also, I have to tell you about the fucking weed. I'm sad to swear. That's how emotional I am about it. <coughs> the weed whacker. It's a nose and ear hair trimmer. Yeah. I used it, guys. Uh-huh. 79% of um, partners polled admitted that. Long nose hair is a major turnoff, so it's time to get whacking. Wow. That's great. Both both of these flagship items come inside the Manscaped Performance Package, along with other quality products like their athletic boxer briefs. Tell them more, Gil. Guys, you can totally reach peak performance easily with the Performance Package. If you're listening to me speak right now, I want you to experience it firsthand for yourself. Get 20% off and free shipping at manscaped.com slash tigerbelly. Manscaped is my and Bobby's and Kalila and George's new best friend. Get 20% off and free shipping at manscaped.com slash tigerbelly. That's 20% off with free shipping at manscaped.com slash tigerbelly. Your balls will thank you. Better help for your mind and your soul. Yeah. You guys, um, Kalila and I, have u- we've used better help. It is the thing that saved us through this pandemic. I think therapy is so very, very important for your soul and your emotional needs. Um, Is there something interfering with your happiness or is preventing you from achieving your goals? BetterHelp will assess your needs and match you with your own licensed professional therapist. You can start communicating in under 48 hours. Kalia and I both use this. It's the best. Tell them more, babe. The service is available for clients worldwide. You can log into your account anytime and send a message to your counselor. This is one of the features that I love the most. There's also a journal mm. that you can write into that um, that your therapist can read throughout the week before your, before meeting on your actual appointment day. You, you'll get timely and thoughtful responses. Plus, you can schedule weekly video or phone sessions so you won't ever have to sit in an uncomfortable waiting room as with traditional therapy. BetterHelp is committed to facilitating great therapeutic matches so they make it easy and free to change counselors if needed, which is it's a big more- plus. It's more affordable than yeah. traditional online counseling and financial aid is available if needed. Tell Be- us more. Oh. BetterHelp will <laughs> want you to start living a happier <laughs> life today. Tell them more, Gilbert. I will. Visit BetterHelp.com slash belly. That's better H-E-L-P. And join over 1 million people taking charge of their mental health with the help of an experienced professional. In fact, George, so many people have been using BetterHelp that they are recruiting additional counselors in all 50 states. Get into it, George. Special offer for Tiger Belly listeners. Get 10% off your first month at BetterHelp.com slash belly. Enjoy the rest of the show. I started playing Among Us. (laughs) Which one? Among Us. Oh, have you played? You've played it. I've played it. I play it. Are you? Wait, I want to play with you. I'm. I'm. What's? What is it? Among Us is. We is, should all do it. What is it? Explain, Guild. Basically, we're all in a spaceship. We're all crew members, and mm-hmm. two of us are imposters. Well, one. Or or you can, or two. Two, depending on how many people you play yeah. with. We all have to do tasks, but there's always two people sabotaging and killing people. Yeah. Through each round, and then there's no 
communicating whatsoever until you go to a meeting room. And then you have to try to like pin it on someone else. So basically, let's say I'm one of the crewmates, right? And then I come across a dead body. Immediately, I'm going to call for an emergency meeting. Mm -hmm. And in that emergency meeting, we vote for who we think the imposter is. Is it green? Is it yellow? Is it because we're all different colors? Could I go, I did it? No. You, you could. You, you could, would but out. yeah. Because I did do it. No, but the point is <laughs> to win the game is to figure out to kick out and vote for the imposter. Yeah, but can I be like, I'm the guy? Here, it's a lot of shadow play. That's all. all yeah, it's going to be like, uh, oh, I saw yellow come out of electrical. You so, be like, I wasn't in electrical. Yeah, I was, I was in electrical. Yeah. Yeah. But can you lie and say I was in electrical? You can do whatever you want. Okay, I was in electrical, even if I was. I did kill the guy, even if I didn't. Can I do that? I'll do this thing where I go based on hunches. Just based on the, mm. I, I just go on like in my head. I have a fucking algorithm. Like Stir I think the it's pot. this one this time. Now, is it real human figures that you look and you're walking around, or are they little blobs? I mean, they're what are they? Little blobs. They're little like Pac-Man creatures. Oh, they're little Pac-Man creatures. Do you play it? No. Oh. Like that. Oh, they look like that. Yeah. Yeah. You, and you go around a spacecraft. Yeah. And it's called Among Us. And then in the beginning, you're either they designate you. You're either a crewmate or you're an imposter. And then... Are you, do you get excited when you're an imposter? Yeah. That's the most fun. That's the most fun is yeah, if you're an imposter because you try to get away and not get voted out. And you try to be sneaky about Can how you cheat? Kill. Is there any way to cheat? No, but you just don't want to kill any... You don't want to kill anyone... In front of in front someone of else. Other, in front of someone else in a visible area. So you can like, uh, like in the meeting room, you can be like, hey, blah, blah, blah. Kalala, follow me. We'll stay together so people know that we're good. And then yeah. I'll kill her privately. And be like, I don't know. She ran off. Yeah. Stuff like that. Ah. Should... But in the meantime, we have different tasks we have to perform. Like you have to go into, you know, yeah, like you have to go into electrical and do this. So you still have to perform those tasks and not get killed by the imposter. Ah. I would, I'm curious. I feel like a lot I of people. hate it. A lot of people would go for you, though. So how, do, can I play it on my iPad? We all can play it I on do it on my phone. On our phone or iPad. And can I, can I play with you guys? Yeah. You have to play it with people. So uh, people that you know. But you can jump into any any game. I can. Existing yeah. game. Does it cost money? No. Free? It is. Yeah. Hmm. I want to play it then. Among Us. Mm -hmm. You know it's popular when politicians are playing it. Oh, yeah. That's well, right. politicians are playing it? Yeah. Who? L Nancy Pelosi? AOC. <laughs> AOC is playing it? Pelosi, Biden, all the old folks. <laughs> <laughs> oh, wow. Exciting. <laughs> Very exciting. All the arthritic all fingers. All the people that don't know what's happening. No, are you going to play Cyberpunk 77? Uh, only if I get a PS5. You can't play it on this? I think you can, but I want to experience it for, you know, I, the way it was supposed to be intended. Is, it was intended on the PS5? I think so, yeah. So I can't download it on this? Probably. You probably can. Just lower quality. You can. Oh, because I want to play it tomorrow. Move you probably them. can. I've been playing. I've been waiting 14 years for it. 14? <laughs> yeah. That was the last Cyberpunk? No, they've never made one before. I love how I pretend No, but it's, it's an exaggeration. <laughs> they, it's like not 14 fucking years. No, but they've been like... You know what I mean? Saying that it was going to be released last year okay. and this and that. It's been like... Keanu Reeves. Yeah, yeah. Keanu Reeves is in it. Uh, I love him. I love like my new thing where it's like I really do a good job pretending to care. <laughs> what do you mean? That's, true. I, that's like something I'm working on. <laughs> you don't care about cyberpunk? I can no, tell. but what, what, how have I been every time you've been telling me about your, your victories? On, but, I understand, um, but when you're doing it, though, I understand what you're doing. And I appreciate it, the effort. So and when I talk to her, I go, babe. she'll go like, so, like, I'll be done with Warzone. And she'll do something, say something ridiculous like, how'd you do, babe? Right? Which I, I know she doesn't give a fuck. That's friendly. It is friendly, but, I don't, but it gives me the opportunity to at least say to somebody, you know what I mean, about the excitement of winning. Because I know it matters to you. And I also genuinely want to gauge your mood. <laughs> <laughs> if it's like we won then I know it's like oh we're gonna cuddle and watch movies all night yeah and also the, what drives her crazy the worst is showing her the win I hate it <laughs> I love and I had to sit there for like 22 minutes just yeah. like from beginning to, to end Steve, Dylan and him like scream and it's yeah yeah like I don't <laughs> oh my god there was this one game <laughs> yes. I'll tell and you and it's like yeah. all I hear is Steve Time Bob practice, you're a hero Bob <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> It, it's a bit much when so Steve's much, calling you a Bob. hero. I know. No, my brother will make me cry. I believe you. My brother will go like, uh, like Bob, I just want to say that I've never been more proud of you. And I just think that, like, you know, you've improved and you're like a real warrior. And, and, it, it just, and, he, and, and in my mind, I'm like, okay, Bob, he's 19. He's 20 years old. Yeah. Right? When I, I know that he's, you know, what is he now? 47? Wow. He's 47 years old. <laughs> 
I'm 46 years old. But you old. still saw in your mind he's 19 or No, 20. in my mind, I go, he's 19, he's 20. You know what I mean? But uh, he uh, he gets really emotional. He gets me all emotional about it, you know? That's cool. It's our way to fucking bond. Why not, you know? Why not? Yeah. But so cyberpunk, uh, she she feigns, you know. Look at me. Why me. not? Why not? Yeah. Here's an opportunity, though. She said she does play a game called Among Us, so... <laughs> And you know what? I will play it, and I would like to engage and play with her. There was this other game that we were playing, like that, um, Finding the... Remember that one game? Oh, that puzzles. We're... But those, are, those aren't, like, actual... Those are, like, puzzle games. Yeah, I like playing but, puzzle um, games. But Juliana is, is playing Valorant, is it? Valorant. Oh, oh uh, wrong uh, emphasis. <laughs> Valorant? Is that I how know. you say it? My dad says it all the time. But well, he says Valorant? Wrong, no, wrong emphasis. But, and a wrong syllable? But can, I, can I just say this, though? Is Look at a show like Queen's Gambit. Mm-hmm. And we've what two episodes in? I love the show. I watched the whole thing. She's seen the whole thing. Have you seen it? No. Or I started it and I was a little bored at the first episode. So. Oh, yeah. oh my yeah. god! People like you. People like you. I like Anna Taylor Joy. It, I did you see it? No, I haven't seen it yet. It's so it's good. Like so it. good. So good. But and but what I realize is that um, that you wouldn't have as many chess players back then if there was an Xbox. Right. It's like chess was like a thing because of the fact that there weren't a lot of like really like high level, like intelligent st- strategic games out there that two people can play on, on, on you know, oh. on the fly. You know what yeah, I mean? Yeah, yeah. So it's like I know that if I lived in that era in the 90, if I was white, you know, and I was living in the 40s, but I had the same personality as I do now, that I would be like a huge like chess guy. I would be reading the books and like figuring out openings and strategies I and like that. And, you know, um, I, I also um, understand now why I completely stay away from video game play. It's because, like, again, it's another arena of competition that I don't want to put myself in because I don't mm. have a good response to uh, competition. Uh, I yeah, really yeah. have like I, I have the worst response to it. Like my body physically wants to like fight. Would you consider yourself a sore loser, though? No, no, no. Yeah. But, but, it's not that I would ever outwardly be a sore loser, but inside I'm a sore loser. Mm. Like, I absolutely, I, it emotionally crushes me. I don't know how to handle um, competitive loss um, with myself. But outwardly, I'd be like, congratulations, that was really good, really proud of you. And I'm like dying on the inside. Mm. Yeah. I hate losing as well. Oh my god, when we play chicken shot and he loses? Oh, I go crazy. I'm a poor loser and I'm an awful winner. Oh, the worst <laughs> yeah, winner. I'm the worst the, combination. Oh, I'll like, you know, if I win a game in anything, I'll do a, a, definitely a dance. Yeah. And I'll go right to your face and I'll do a, some sort gloater. of dance. He's a a glow dance and go, what's up, loser? You know what I mean? You feeling down on yourself? Mm-hmm. You're the king. You know, whatever. I'll just get, rub it right in your face, right? Yeah. But what I love about chess by watching Queen's Gambit is it's one of those uh, games where, I, in my mind, I'm like, it's almost impossible to cheat in chess, right? Unless you walk away from the board, you go to another room, and you consult with other people or whatever, or, or you have some sort of computer in another room or whatever. But if you're playing one-on-one with somebody, and you're playing just a straight game with some... A time, too? It, it, or even not time, you know what I mean? It's um, almost impossible to cheat. That's why, you know, I don't want to give anything away, you know what I mean, um, when it comes to, like, the show Queen's, Queen's Gambit, but I'll just give the first episode away. Okay. If that's all right. Yeah. It's when um, this young girl, right, beats... Beth. What? Beth. Hart. Beth. She beats, you know, um, 10 high schoolers, and she's, like, 11 or whatever, right? Yeah. And she's playing 10 uh, high school male boys mm-hmm. at the same time. When they all lose, they can't, they can't say anything. They can't go, well, you cheated or yeah. whatever. They, they have to like literally go, oh, fuck. Resign. Mm-hmm. Resi- we, that's next level shit. Yeah. Right? It's mm-hmm. one of those sports where, or, or a game, not sports, but games, that like you have to give it up. You know what I mean? When the person destroys you. Yeah. You know? There's no performance enhancement drug. Right. I mean, it's not like also poker, there could be some cheating going on. Yeah. Card card, card, card counting or somebody looking out, you know what I mean, for you and giving you signs or whatever, right? You can't do that with chess. That's what I like Mm -hmm. about it. But, um, like the Astros to the Dodgers. Mm -hmm. Oh, shit. But we won. 
Not we. No, we I'm not. A we fair, didn't win that. Year. I know, but this weird year, we, I'm a fair weather. I'm a really a fair weather fan when it comes to that, though. Yeah, he really is. I saw the last games. <laughs> yeah. Have you what, guys, you, oh, what do you call them? The World Series. Yeah. I saw them. That's the what they're called. Yeah. Have you guys seen the movie Run yet with nice. Sarah Paulson? Mm-mm. You guys will like that. Same yeah. director from Searching, Anish Chikante. Oh, nice. And it's a s- movie or. F- it's a movie. It's this is the. Okay. It's a movie based on some of those cases about those parents that would keep their kids sick. Oh, like Munchausen by proxy. That one. Yeah. yeah. And so run is. Can I watch it now on iTunes? Yeah, on Hulu. I think on they have Hulu. Exclusive deal. Yeah. Oh, maybe I'll watch it. I'll, I'll watch that movie. I enjoy a movie. I enjoy. And we also saw another one. What's another one you saw? A TV show, and it was called um, Undoing. But I just the show in itself, right? Is um. Pretty good, man. I really liked it. I like crime stuff, man. Yeah, it's really good. Yeah. I love Broadchurch. Do you watch Broadchurch? Uh, You bring it up all the fucking time, Broadchurch. No, I don't. Yeah, the other day you're like, you didn't see Broadchurch. Well, no, there's like a lot of and I always, you know, and it's so funny when you say Broadchurch. I always thought that you meant Broad City. (laughs) I was thinking the same thing. No, Broad. I know, but when you said Broadchurch over the years, I used to watch Broadchurch. Mm -hmm. In my head, when you say that, I always confuse the two and I'm like I don't want to watch that Comedy Central you know what I mean show <laughs> you right? never also by the way Broad City is amazing Fantastic. but you never even watched The Night Of with Riz Ahmed oh so good so good well I saw it's there's different seasons of it right no no you're thinking of True Detective I think yeah. oh I'm thinking of True Detective mm-hmm. so it's The Night Of is, is it good so good John Turturro I can't say his name John, John Turturro Turturro mm-hmm. great actor mm-hmm I love that guy. My favorite movie he was in yeah, was the old early Coen Brothers movies. And he was in a movie called Miller's Crossing. You, you ever see that? Watch I haven't that. seen that one. John Turturro. You haven't seen that one? Mm-hmm. I've seen it. Is so fucking good in that movie. Tonight. And then uh, here's another movie that he was good, that you won't like, I don't think, Gilbert, is um, another uh, Coen Brothers movie, which is Barton Fink. You see I that? saw Barton Fink. You see it? Long time oh, yeah. ago. Yeah, yeah, yeah. A little confusing, a mm-hmm. little dark and weird. Yeah. Very good. And then um, Turturro was in a tr- um, Transformers movie. Oh, yes. He was also <laughs> <laughs> with TJ Miller. <laughs> he was wait, also in a Transformers wait, movie. Wasn't movie? he that one with Johnny Depp, too? Like Open Window or something? I don't open, know. Wait. Wait, can you look that up? I remember watching it. It was really good. Johnny Depp's a writer. See, oh, God, I don't even remember. Maybe I'm mixing two movies up. And he was chocolate. Oh, here's another thing that John Turturro was great at. Do the right thing. Yes, Kyla. Do you ever see Do the Right oh, Thing? Oh, yeah. One of my favorites. Mm-hmm. What what, a go- you're right, Kyla. What is it? It's Secret Window. Secret they're b- they're Window. both in it, yeah. Oh, With Johnny both Depp? Both. Psychological horror. Yes. Yeah. Psychological horror. Dude. I love it. What else has been up? What's been, what's new Wait. with you, George? Um. Well, I think I'm turning into Bobby Lee since I've gotten into Warzone. <laughs> Have you really? Did you only do it just to kind of like be a people pleaser and like please him? No, he likes no, it. No, I got into it for the camaraderie, you know. I play with Bryce since we don't see each other every day and his friend Larry back home. Are you any good? Um, I've gotten a lot better. There's I'm one sure. uh, play. Uh, yeah, there's one, my, one of the earliest times playing uh, is, uh, is on our Patreon, and I've gotten so much better. I'm so embarrassed looking at that. Yeah, no, no. Yeah. let me ask you something. Have you won with Bryce and your friend? Oh, all the time. I've got like 17 wins. Whoa. Oh, the, oh, yeah. That's hey, way more you. than you, babe. That's not true at all. No, Bobby does have like 70 something. I got, I got four last week but, in, in, every night. Yeah, but you said that you only ever get it like once every two weeks. Let's be honest. Yeah, I play from a lot. I feel like your wins now are truthful wins. And my, my, yeah, the before? Wins before you're being so rude right now. I just want to be honest. I know you, you're pointing it's your fucking different. finger at it. You're being so fucking I'm rude right now. It's different. Call right. him out, Gil. Right? It's no. Different. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Call him out. Before I played with really good to guys like my friend Josh from and, and Ramy and those guys. Shout out to Josh. And they would. And they you do you still play with Josh? No, I haven't heard from him in a while. I know. So I love that kid. But um, you know, and they would carry me to win, right? But now my wins, all right. I know it's, it's war zone talk. She hates it, but loves um, it. But now my wins are, um, I'm number one, still standing, mm-hmm. right? Number two, I'm I'm the, you know one of the guys that are getting the kills to, to finish off the game. A couple of games, I'm the last guy on standing, almost right. It feels great. You're the lead. Kind Thank of. You. you and Dylan. Really I'm starting to think wins aren't that special or hard to do. You're a there he goes. You're being nasty. <laughs> and you're being So what else? So you've been getting better. So how come you haven't played with me really? Because you never added me, if you remember. You still I... haven't added him as a friend. <laughs> oh really? No. Yep. How did we do that? 
I don't uh, know. I uh, I requested it. I sent you my thing with the special numbers at the end. <laughs> <laughs> the special <laughs> numbers. Yeah. yeah. Now, do you play every night? You play a uh, lot. Quite a bit, yeah. And I've noticed, like, like uh, my wife will be like, "Oh, you're playing Warzone again," and I'll be like, "Baby, I'm st- I'm still earning money. I'm as successful as I've ever been in my I, life. I, I'm doing great." And then I'm like, I hear myself talking. And I'm like, "This is exact. This is Bobby Lee talk. I can really." Yeah, it's the same. It's like the same thing. You know, it's before I was like, I understood Kalila, and now I'm like understanding Bobby. I'm uh, like, on the other, I'm I on the other it. side of it. I'm like, I love it, dude. I don't all I'm the justification. Narcissism. I'm, <laughs> yeah. I'm not even allowed to. I what? turn that on. I'm like, oh, you're playing a game. Are you doing? You're playing games. I'm like, all right, I'll stop playing games. <laughs> Yeah. Gil. You gotta fight for your yes. right. Dude. Yes, yes. No, you gotta Gil. fight for your right to play, dude. Well, then you gotta fight for your right to this pussy. Is there. I, oh. I, I do. I fucking do. How? I'm doing more okay. and more I have things. a question. What? Wait. What? Uh. What? what? <laughs> I have a question for us. The fact that his wife, my yeah. girlfriend, your girlfriend, they all ha- share the same feeling towards it. Are, are we delusional? It's just that you want to prioritize pleasures. It's just that, guys. And it's <laughs> fine. But how long you prioritize it for is, is you know, really what determines whether you have a good relationship with gameplay mm. or a bad relationship with gameplay. Yeah. If, it, it, if it fucks up, if it takes up 18 hours of your day and you no longer, you know, want to work for this pussy. <laughs> yeah. Look how flexible that is. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That is so flexible. Then that's a problem. Beautiful pussy. Beautiful pussy. Bob. Very yeah, yeah, beautiful yeah, pussy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Wiki puss. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, the started. problem is the boys are on now. You know, the boys are on now, and if I don't get them now, then I won't get to play today. You know, that's yeah. Yeah, there, there's mm-hmm. there's that pressure of it too, right? It's yep. like, you know, my I know that my brother only plays between ten thirty eleven and one in the morning, right? Mm-hmm. With right, so you know, I don't want to play. I be, I used to play with randos. You know, what I mean, that's how I got. I know guys like Ramy in this, right? But oh, yeah. I realized that it's just not as fun. Is playing with my brother, you know, mm-hmm. and, it, and I'm sure you get the same feeling with Bryce. You know what I mean? There's a different kind of like when you're down, right? Because in Warzone, when somebody shoots you, they don't kill. Just listen to me. I don't think she likes you <laughs> touching just, her knee. I know, I know. <laughs> it's close to her pussy though. Her beautiful pussy. So um, <laughs> yeah. talk, talk to her. Yeah, yeah. Talk right into so, it. <laughs> no, like explain uh, 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 yourself. Uh, uh, uh. Talk to it. Yeah. So hey, pussy. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Pussy. So what I'm saying is, now put it down, babe. All right. This is a family show. This is a family show. So, um, <laughs> so when you're playing with another guy, a rando, right? Yeah. And so, in, just listen to me, um, Kali- 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 Wait, why do you need me to listen again? You Kali- almost called her Gilbert. <laughs> I know. <laughs> now listen to me, Kalila. All right. When you shoot somebody, you don't kill them right away. With they get downed, right? So it's not like you know when you're shooting somebody and they fall down first and they get downed. And it, you, you, and, 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 but if somebody keeps shooting that person, then they get killed, right? Get kill, yeah. But there's a moment where your friend or whoever's on your team, right, can um, revive you, mm-hmm. right? And what I've noticed is that if I'm with a random, playing with random people, and I get down, and I go, guys, I'm down! Someone revive me! They don't pick up. They don't pick up as fast, or they're nowhere to be found, Right. What I notice is no matter what is happening on the board, even if my brother knows that he's going to die by reviving me, he's there. He's there reviving me. Do you feel the same way with Bryce? Uh, Bryce doesn't. No, he's like, are you safe? Are you in a safe place? Are that's you not, behind something? But that's how white people and their families are show like. Show love. That's how they show are love. Are you safe? That's how white people and, their, and, and you guys, but with Koreans, dude, and Asians, hmm. no matter what the fuck is happening, right? We will revive each other. Mm, they'll feed you even when you're not hungry. True. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> and just let that be a lesson to you, my friend. Mm-hmm. You whitey. So you're getting good. <laughs> I'm getting okay now. Respectable, at least. What? How are your other podcasts? Um, all good. Um, no, Bryce has taken over most things, so we're we're kind of separated. So you're only doing the big ones. No, I'm only doing this. He's one. the Bad CEO. Friends, so He's I'm the CEO. yeah, the two big ones. No, we're we're separate. Okay, you have bigger you have bigger podcasts than Tiger Belly and Bad Friends. I'm just let me ask you something. What are your two top podcasts that you produce? <laughs> I've got a couple podcasts. Bad Friends and Tiger Belly are the ones that I'm on. Which ones I'm, are the top ones? I'm asking you a direct question. All he said is that Tiger Belly and Bad Friends are the ones that he's on. Yeah, yeah. Which one are the top ones? Top money making. Okay, those are the biggest. They're like, right. are they really? They're fucking huge, man. Thank you so much. That's all I wanted to hear, man. Yeah. 
You know, a tiger well, validation. Bat. But let's just go biggest in the world. Let's go some of the biggest in the world, not just the uh, biggest that I'm on. Hey, what's uh. the most fun to be on? Tiger Belly or Bat? Oh, Brand? Tiger Belly right now. And uh, let, ask me in, uh, ask me in two days. I am a people pleaser and I will tell <laughs> you I'm a yes man. You. <laughs> <laughs> it's funny because um, people now, um, you know, Tony, people are moving to um, Texas. Austin. Austin. And I'm, I'm kind of excited about it. <laughs> I'm excited that people are moving. Mm-hmm. Chavez Ravine for life. You know, mm-hmm. I want to stay here. But it makes sense for people that aren't from L.A., right? If they came to L.A. for a dream or whatever and certain things have changed around, it's, it makes sense that they, they're jumping to another state. But if you're from here and you're an Angelino, that shit lives in your blood. I don't care if we get burnt to a crisp by fucking forest fires. Well, I'm like, from San Diego. I guess I am. Is that L.A.? No. Well, then I'm not. I'm not. A, I'm not an Angelino then. Kalila is for sure. But you're, you know, California. Like, at yeah, least I'm a California. For me, yeah. You know, this was the first place I landed from the Philippines, mm-hmm. and I always thought that, oh, I could live anywhere. I could live. But as I'm getting older, I'm like, holy shit, man! Like, L.A. is dope. I love it here. I don't care what anyone says. Any every the perception is that like Hollywood is L A. and it's not. It's not the kids that I grew up with, the people that I know, the friendships that I've made. It has nothing to do with the elites of Hollywood. Yeah, I, I love when kids come here and they they have this dream or this idea about Los Angeles, mm-hmm. and it's usually you know um, the perception is based on what they've seen through the media or television and film and whatnot, right? But then they drive by, like, you know, Western and Santa Monica, right? Mm -hmm. And they go, what the fuck? This is not, you know, that's L.A. to me. Me too, and I love it. Yeah, I love it too. I love the grime of L.A. I love the grime of it. On my weekends, um, pre-COVID, I'd go to Los Callejones. I'd eat there Saturday morning. And I've also tried, listen, I want to say I love all the cities I've ever been to. I really do, and there's... Little bits of it, like, you know, I like the rain in Portland, you know. Uh, I like th- just the the trees in Austin for some reason. I just kind of like that, you know. And I like um, the flatness of Idaho. <laughs> <laughs> that was a stretch, bro. So, yeah, I love the beautiful flatness of Idaho. Have you been to Idaho? Yeah, yeah. wait yes, a second. I Idaho is... Well, Jessica uh, went to Idaho like two years ago, and she was like, "Dude, it is beautiful here." Now, maybe not Idaho. I'm talking about. Um, where's I- Wise Guys? Indiana? At? What are you? You're talking about Omaha. Omaha. It's oh, flat. Omaha. Omaha. Oh, is Omaha. Flat. Oh, Omaha. Flatest. That's the most boring state to drive through. Omaha is. Shots Nebraska. Fired. Yeah. It's pretty flat. Oh, it's just corn for five hours. But you know, you have these you know ideas about, especially when you go to a red state and you think to yourself, like my brother always goes, Bob. Is Texas scary because it's like a lot of white people with cowboy hats? It's like, no, dude. <laughs> That's what like international people think of America. I know. It's like it's the like, opposite of that. It's, it's like an Asian hub, too. Uh, I know. Houston? It's like so Houston. fun and the people are so. The best audiences I've ever played for is yeah. in, in Texas. The most wild, you know? Mm-hmm. The strip clubs are wild, baby. You know? <laughs> I love myself some Texas. And, you know, when you look at, you know, like a political map, you know, it's a red or whatever. It's like, I don't visit those areas, mm-hmm. right? But in the cities, man, Love it's it. fucking great. But um, but throughout all my travels, um, I still miss LA mm-hmm. everywhere I go. Even Hawaii. I was just in Hawaii, which is... um. Hey, what's up, sleepers? We're going to take another really quick break to share some of these amazing products with you. Native. 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 For your pits, oh. for your pits, yeah, and, and, and native. Oh. You guys, um, you guys, listen. I'm really into smells. I don't know if you know this about me. I do. I have every cologne available. I have. Uh, I, I I don't want to name the products, right? Because, but you know, the reason why I haven't used deodorants in the past is generally I don't like the way they feel in my pits, mm-hmm. and I, I also don't like the way they generally smell. But native is the only armpit deodorant that I use because I love the way they smell. I love the way they, f- I feel like it works. Yeah. You know? Yeah. Also, one of the big ch- um, changes that I made in my life was going from um, deodorants with like aluminum mm-hmm. to natural products. Yeah. And when I switched over to natural products, specifically native, I found that my scent, my underarm scent was just so much better. It almost like self-regulated itself. Yeah. Also, I don't want aluminum in my pits. I don't want Because my pits are fucking fresh as fuck, right? Yeah. And also, I don't, you know, I don't want parabens in it. 
I don't. Want I don't even know what that is. But why would but you? I don't like it. I don't like sulfate. Yeah. Right? Sulfate. I don't like talc. I don't like it. Right. Talc. I like natural shit in my pits. Uh-huh. All right. Their candy cane gift set, which is what they have for the holiday season, mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. makes for a great gift option, guys. And all native products are great stocking stuffers because they fit right in the stocking. The perfectly. one. <laughs> I'm going to mention one thing that I absolutely love. Native. Yeah. Go ahead. The one thing that I absolutely love is like they have the option. Um, to not get the the, the plastic um, deodorant containers, oh, yeah. they come yeah. in the paper containers hmm. that you just push up. Amazing! And all of the packaging is in paper. There's absolutely no plastic in it. Hey, Kalila, what holiday scent are you gonna get? I'm already using the vanilla chai, Ooh. and I love that one. Guys, Big plus for me. That's amazing. Shop Native's holiday collection today by going to nativedo.com/belly. Or use promo code BELLY at checkout. That's get 20% off your first order. That's nativedeo.com slash BELLY. Or use promo code BELLY at checkout for 20% off your first order. Get n n n n n native now. Man crates! Uh-huh. You guys, um, we got a man crate last week. Yeah. And, you know, I'm a man, by the way. You. FYI. I have, I, sometimes I have this internal desire to go into the forest and chop down a tree. <laughs> With a you, you know, with my hands, with your hands, not with the, with an axe. Damn, I want to hunt down wolverines, man, mm-hmm. with my f- mouth. Mm. Whoa! All right, I'm a man. Okay, and I want to say this: when I got this man crate, I opened it. I had such a deep pleasure. Number one, it's the perfect gift to get any guy, mm. right? Because it comes in this beautiful crate, right? It it, it gives you a tool to open it. Cool, right? In the box that I had, I have the beef jerky, mm-hmm. and they had beef jerky. Not brands I'd never even heard of, but when I ate them, I knew that they were gourmet, then they were like fancy Mm -hmm. and with flavors I've never had before. And I really just thought, man, what a perfect thing to give somebody. They don't just have jerky. I I understand that and tell them more. Hundreds of totally unique gift options like the whiskey appreciation crate with a personalized handmade whiskey Wow. decanter and tumblers. Is that how you say it? Decanter? Decanter, yeah. yeah. Decanter. Ice beer molds, slate coasters or snacks or the grill master crate with a brass knuckle meat tenderizer, cast iron smoker box, steak thermometers and more. Man crates packs his, his gift in unique Container, so watching him open his gift is an unforgettable experience. Person- He'll think it's awesome, or man crates will make it right. And personalization is free, and every man crates gift comes with a 100% satisfaction guarantee. Now, through December 23rd, buy one item, get a second item for 50% off at mancrates.com. Slash belly. Plus, get special Santa daily deals. That's buy one item and get your second 50% off at mancrates.com slash belly. Mancrates.com slash belly. Enjoy the rest of the show. Which is, um, I had a mental breakdown at the fucking airport. Why? Where? Oh, yes. You, I uh, snapped. You never talked Wait, tell about the story. It. And it really wasn't your fault, my poor baby. Yeah, but it, does that have to do with TSA? No, y- no. surprisingly not. Oh. No, so I, I get a call. Uh, so I'm doing Magnum. Right. I missed my first COVID appointment at CVS um, because I didn't have my car. Well, and so that you knew. I know. We got just into let's a big uh, fight. We got Jules a fight. and I went rollerblading and we took the car. Yeah. So I couldn't. Because he didn't my... tell me that his COVID test was not the ones. You know how they usually, before um, he has to film, they usually come to the door and they swab. So it's at CVS. Yeah. Mm. I took the car. So she took the car. Couldn't make it. Make it. So rollerblading was fun, though. <laughs> <laughs> so then I had to two days later take one, but it was like a little too late. I was flying the next day, so I didn't have the. So I would have to quarantine in Hawaii for a couple of days. Anyway, I go to the fucking CVS. I take the test. I fly to Hawaii, and as soon as I get there, it's like um, I'm pulled from. Like you get off the plane, mm-hmm. and they pull me aside and go, "Okay, so where's your?" Um, QR code, that one. Yeah, yeah. because you, you your QR code because you have to. Uh, yeah, where's all that? And I go, site. what? I go, I don't know no code. <laughs> and they go, well, where's your? You know, I mean, you know, you, you to get on the plane to come here, you had to fill out that Hawaiian, you know, uh-huh. uh, state. You know, mm-hmm. I go, I don't got it, baby. You thought production was gonna do it? Yeah, I got nothing. And I just keep walking. Oh, you know what I mean? And they go, whoa, 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 and they pull me on another side. And they're like, you can't enter without doing it. And the paperwork was, you know, so confusing. Then they had to call the hotel. But then I acted like a little baby. What did you do? 
I just says, you know what? I'll just take the. Okay, we're gonna take the plane back home. Is that what you said? <laughs> to to them. <laughs> yeah. You had a tantry. I had a little tantrum. A little tantry. Because I had to wait like an hour to do it. Yeah. And I had to admit, I acted like a little baby. And then I started going, oh, this is sound so miwo. We might have to cut this out. But I go, yeah, well, you know, I, I don't know. I'm just, I'm just here to do a TV show. <laughs> he pulled a Reese Witherspoon. And she got yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> I pulled a fucking Reese Witherspoon. With Reese w- yeah. Witherspoon. Survival mode, bro. They're like, we don't know what that is. Survival, bro. They go, we don't know what that is. I go, Magnum PI, you know. They go, we don't know what that is. <laughs> we don't know what you are. We don't know what's going on. You have to fill out the stuff. So I did it. And then, um, but then I had to, then I go to the hotel and they, uh, you can't leave your room for two days, which is fine by me because I had my um, PlayStation. So I played a lot of Warzone. That's it. I act, I act like he that. He was a baby. And he called me. What did he say? What I, I don't remember. Bebu. Oh, uh, yeah, Bebu. Because I'm oh, hungry. Yeah. <laughs> oh, hungo. Yeah. I'm like, well, I, I'm, I'm in L.A. I, like, there's nothing. There's not much I can do for you. He's like, are you sure? Yeah. I have nothing to eat. So I, then. Oh, my God. I had to get a bunch of groceries delivered to his hotel room. Yeah, that was really nice of her. They brought their groceries over. and um, But I have to say, shooting was just a fresh of breath air. Mm. <laughs> wait, 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 wait. So I, got, I thought I had a breath of air. What did you just say? A fresh of breath air. A fresh of breath air. Yeah. It was a fresh of breath air. And uh, I'm just going to commit to it. It was a fresh of breath air. <laughs> So and I really enjoyed it. You. Thank you so much. Yeah. <sighs> what is it? The fresh of air breath? What is it? <laughs> <laughs> a fresh of air breath. No one tell him, please. Yeah. He'll get it one day. I don't even know what it is anymore. He fucked my mind up. Uh, an air it's a breath of fresh air. Yep. Okay. It's a breath of fresh air. It's an air of breath, breath air. Fresh of breath air. It's an air of breath air. <laughs> oh, anyway, it was really nice. Um, and... Um, we have an unhelpful advice. Oh, could, uh, do, I've got something instead, first. Instead era. of unhelpful advice, though, we wanted to play this clip from this episode. Is that correct, George? Yes, is there... I do. This is uh, episode oh, fifteen, uh, two minutes and thirty seconds in of, of Tiger Belly. Yeah, Tiger Belly. It's near, my friend. Yeah. The end is near. Also, if you missed the last ten seconds of the last podcast, which you did, Bobby, um, I announced that when we hit half a million um, subscribers. That Gilbert uh, Gilbert is gonna allow me to perform a Filipino style poke poke circumcision. <gasps> oh, really? What? Yeah, but like, cause he named his uh, the other day he named his foreskin um um James Jonathan. These are private conversations. Is it Jonathan James or James Jonathan? These are private conversations. So, anyways, RIP to Jonathan James. Pretty soon, if we hit half a million, and not only that, I'm actually gonna poke poke style. So I'm gonna put it on like a little wooden stick, mm-hmm. babe. I'm gonna <laughs> hatchet it. Mm-hmm. And then I'm going to chew guava wow. leaves. I'm going to shove it. I'm going to stuff his dick with guava leaves, right? Yeah. You have the I'm leaves? I'm going to make him jump. I'm going to sit in the tub. So I'm going to poke his dick. No. I can't believe rude. I'm going to get to perform my first wow. turkey. I can't believe at age 30 I'm going to have my foreskin off. Gilbert, I'm not going to have you do the Glomco clamp like they do in the hospital. Uh, so just so the uh, fans know, our uh, YouTube is wow. nearing 500,000. We're at 400 and... Uh, 90, I think, 95,000. We used to have 100 listeners, no joke. We really? When we, I first started and when it was just us three, I uploaded probably yeah. like, honestly, 700 people listened. <laughs> wow. Do you understand how crazy our growth has been? That's kind of fun. It's wow. really exciting. Thank you so much for listening, everybody. Wait, but, but hang on. I really want to get to the bottom of this. Yeah. Gil. Yeah, Gilbert's trying to change the subject. Yeah, yeah. Hold we're, on. Right. we're going back to it. War is one of those games. <laughs> <laughs> Camaraderie, yeah. brotherhood. <laughs> So after the Pandy Guild, can we take a trip to the Philippines and can I get like guidance from like a, a community leader there who who does the the book book style? After and can I circumcise you? I am not close to the idea. I'm open to it. Wait, but that's not true. You know what? I changed. <coughs> that was five years ago. I no longer believe in circumcision, and I think that if you want schmegma under your dick, that's fine. 
Wait, let me rephrase that because I don't want to say that. Really. <laughs> <laughs> no, keep it in. <laughs> I, can, I, can I at least, you know, at 500,000, can I at least um, see your dick? Can I at least pull on your Bro, foreskin? I've let you touch my dick. No, but with the skin over the head. Can I pull at your skin? Can I see it? Can you dock? Oh, can I dock? Yeah, can I dock my <laughs> penis onto your fucking... I'll... Yes. Really? Yes. And and you think... Is this instead of the circumcision? Are you trying to... Yeah, it, I'll it's dock funny. all day. It's funny. It's funny, it's funny that funny? you say that. It needs, it needs to be held for one, one whole minute. It will. And also, I'm gonna do it. I need you to fuck it, okay? Yeah, but I have to get a little erect, right? Because you can't dock fucking... I can dock, I I can dock flaccid. I'm just saying. You, oh, you've done it? I'm just saying I can dock it's flaccid. It's better if, it's, if he's flaccid, but I need you to fuck no, his foreskin. I'm gonna be fucking... But I need you to pull on the foreskin onto your dick. Like, pull, yank yeah. it over right, your dick. All right, let's do it. But I don't mind that, because that's the power position. I'm encapsulating you. So <laughs> Technically, you would be the bottom. That's I don't correct. give a shit. That's fine. As long as, I can say, as long as I can say I'm more masculine than Bobby for two minutes, I'm yeah, good. It's, you, 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 it's you, a penis you, you, You're trying to talk me out of it? I'm trying to talk you into it. I'm in already. Baby, let's fuck. <laughs> that's not fucking. I don't know. No, that's like um, harboring. <laughs> you know, Explain? it's like self... T- what? Explain. Harboring? It's penis cuddling. You're, you're cuddling. You're like, <laughs> I take, like that. You're, you're you're cuddling my own dick. Yeah. Yeah. I'm you're harboring har- me from harm. He's you're breathing him in. I'm giving you life. Exactly. Okay, I'll give you that. Okay. Right. Let's do it. So we're gonna do, you do that. You think your battery will be recharged after you dock? Oh, when he sees me. Do you have an unhelpful advice? Uh, yeah. Unhelpful advice with Bobby and Kalila and George, Brad Pitt, Kimball. His whole outfit looks '90s. I love it. Sorry for the aggressive subject line. Tiger Belly, unhelpful advice. Hashtag kids. For a few podcasts, uh, podcasts now, I've heard Bobby Cloud talk about this notion of kids not wanting kids to fear a possibility of passing a certain gene or personality trait, which I completely understand. I also understand Bobby uh, is a bit of a man child. Okay, I didn't mean to read that. Uh, da, 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 da. No, no, it's, no, keep reading that part. Honestly. He's a bit of a man child. However, I'm sure not just I, but his audience has seen him grow over the last year with an addition of Juliana to their household. Now, this isn't to say <sighs> he's a full-grown adult that Kalila would like him to be, but this definitely means that he is able to get there, exclamation mark. But I'd like to uh, focus <laughs> on the first point. <laughs> oh, yeah. If one of my main concerns about possibly passing on certain genes slash personality, uh, if that's one of his, this person's concerns, what are your guys' thoughts on adoption? Should that be a real concern for him if he feels the same way? And should he just adopt and just avoid the... Stress. Or, oh, I think this person has been misinformed. Bobby wants his own mini spawn. He wants a spawn of the devil. He wants his. Yeah, he I, I want to be like the Jolies in the pits. You know what I mean? I want to have some, and I want to have you know. Mix it up. Mix it up. I want to have you know what I mean. I'd be perfectly fine not having to see my DNA in someone else. Yeah, I, I, I do. I would. I, you know. Even watching the Queen's Gambit, I would love to have one of those. You what? Mean, a prodigy. What? <laughs> a British prodigy? You find a, Brit- a British But even prodigy. if they aren't, we'd love them regardless. Yeah. I just don't want like a, you know, mm-hmm. a Gabriel Glaces without the talent. <laughs> what do you mean? Like a tr- Just a fat, you know what I mean? Just a fat, sleepy, like a so- brown, you know what I mean? That's so first of all, <laughs> first of all, kids don't come out like that. They don't? It's parenting. Oh, I'm yeah. sorry. I love Gabe. Yeah. You know what I mean? It's just like... um. There were times where I just couldn't look at him. <laughs> you know what I mean? But, uh, so, is that, Wait, am I getting canceled again? No, but why I mean, he, why it's he, like, I, I feel like, when I, again. I feel like when I say things, right, yeah. it, you guys look at me like, why did you just say that? Well, I can't believe I'm you just, just said curious, that. I'm just curious, it just feels like there's resentments toward Gabe, but you love him. I fucking love Gabe, You should man. have him on. I feel like you can say all this. Oh, I can, I can. Let's do it. I can have him on, you know, and I will have him on mm-hmm. this podcast. We have a good, we can get a lot of people. Mm-hmm. My thoughts on adoption, 100%. On board, bin. That's I'll, do, all I'll do it once we I've have our own about. biological one. <sighs> See, that's a problem there. Who wants to carry that baby? <laughs> so who wants to be my surrogate? Uh, Quinda? Shandy. Yeah. She lives in the woods. That's true. Good point. Jessica uh, said she would. That's a good... G- ask Jeff. No, Jessica, Jessica said she absolutely would. It's just that I, I don't know if I, I... I'd feel so bad. I'd be like, fuck, I... I'm putting her through, you know, nine months. We of would pay hell. her. Uh, well, any no. fans out there want to earn some cash? Yes, uh, let's, uh, no, we wouldn't yeah. pay Jessica. She wouldn't take the money. Or she would take. Yeah, the yeah. Money. Any fans out there that <laughs> want that want Kalila and I's baby 
and we will pay you. This is not how we do it, babe. No, what kind of application? Would what you the fuck, babe? Do you know that's like a perfect <laughs> ransom movie. And uh, they're gonna run away with our with our baby, right? Should we write this? This is pretty good. And then no, do we can't have lawyers and sign a contract and all that stuff. How's that? It doesn't stop someone from like taking a flight to. We we would fucking interview them first, right? And 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 um, well, there's an agency for that. There's an agency for that. We yeah, well, we are, 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 are okay. Yeah. All right, we'll have ATC be the agency. But it'd be a fun though. It still would be a fun. N no, no, but just listen, <laughs> no. Listen, no. Just, just all right, listen. we've had the singing competition. Yeah, yeah, that's what I'm saying. We had the singing competition, now. right? So let's do one where. We were not going to use them, right? <laughs> but let's just, just hear me. My my baby's life is not a game, and it's not a Patreon episode. Yeah, it's gonna be. Let's do it, right? A Patreon episode where people like you know what I mean submit. It can be guys too. It'll be fun. Uh huh. If guys also submit, you know what I mean. And what's the end game? What about an essay? They have to write you an essay. And just say if in 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 a different world we would choose this person theoretically. Oh, theoretically. so we're not really giving. No, we're not really doing it. Oh. Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah. Yeah, I'm yeah. Down Let's for do that. it. It'll be fun. What kind of questions would you guys like them to answer? Well, I mean, let me ask you something. When somebody is a carrier, yeah, right? Do they pass on certain genes and traits? Um, supposed to not. Oh. But uh -huh. then, like, I read this other thing, um, a long time ago that like theorizes otherwise. So it's, but no, like, theoretically, no. Well, then we would ask them, what are you? This, you know, wh how do you live? You mean smoke. You smoke? Do you to, do heroin, yeah. drugs? Any What's kind your day to day? How much do you exercise? Yeah. Um. What are your l living circumstances? Uh -huh. Um. What would you do to um. To 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 make our baby healthier? What what regimens would you do during the day? Big question is: Have you ever been pregnant? And have you? Right. Yeah. We have how many miscarriages? How many live births? Those are things that are important. What about yeah, the fun questions? Like what? Oh, fun questions. Okay. <laughs> like, uh, maybe not the scientific method. Uh, uh, do you like Starbursts? <laughs> there we yeah. go. Yeah, do you like Starbursts? Mm -hmm. Ask that. Mm -hmm. What flavor of Starbursts do you like? Yeah. Um, do you, you know? Do you do vaginal exercises? Is that fun? Kegel. Kegel. Mm, but if, if if it's a, for men too, then the thing wouldn't apply. Anus tension. A anus tension. <laughs> Is that a real thing, Kalila? Please tell me. No. Wait, I'm anus tensing right now. <laughs> yeah, I guess it is a real thing. Anus, yeah. Do I you can have pucker my butthole. Do you have anus tension? Yeah. Maybe I can't think of any other questions to ask. Well, we'll figure it out, George. Okay. Oh, yeah. if they sing well, then they can sing to the baby a lot. Yeah. Good. So, like, you know, put like little, you know, headphones on the stomach. Okay. Yeah. yeah. And p play some kind of music. Number one, I would think I would ask too is do you have a passport? Because if they do, I can't risk it. <laughs> They're a fun. flight risk. Yeah, yeah. I could take my baby too. So we'll do that. What do you think? Yeah, That'll be fun. The singing stuff though has been really fun to watch. Oh, people are loving. I'm really thank you so much for submitting those. We enjoyed every single video, and um, we love it. And God bless you and good night. Yeah. If you guys want to watch those, <laughs> slash time. but also just I'm really out. quick, those I'm out are good at singing. Yeah. I was actually kind of shocked. Some of them are, are so, good, so good. I'm like, I can't fucking believe it. <laughs> yeah. I love you guys. Good night. We love you guys. Uh, you can follow everything Tiger Belly at Tiger Belly. Uh, everything Bobby Lee at Bobby Live. Everything uh, Kalila at Kalam DK. Everything George Kimmel. George underscore Kimmel. Uh, he has so many podcasts he's producing, so stop hitting him up. He's too busy. You can follow me at Gilbits. <clears throat> Guys, happy holidays, slut family. Don't sleep on Tiger Belly Patreon. If you haven't watched the singing competition Bobby was talking about, you're really missing out. Episode three uh, is my personal favorite. I'm not reading this from George's copy. I actually asked him to put this one. I wouldn't forget. Uh, and do, uh, did we already find a winner? I don't know. Give yourself a Christmas gift from you to you this season and catch up on all the classic content as well as vlogs from literally this past couple of years. And even uh, audio content we did She's like three years ago, four years ago. So much stuff over there. Um, so guys, I forgot we have almost a year of uh, just the audio, just podcast, the, audio. the solos, solo audio. Yeah, so guys, check out patreoncom slash tigerbelly. And thanks to our sponsors, Manscaped, BetterHelp, Native, and Man Crates. Manscaped is our best in men's below the waist grooming. Get twenty percent off and free shipping at manscapecom slash. Tiger Belly. Join over 1 million people taking charge of the mental health by using BetterHelp. Special offer for Tiger Belly listeners. Get 10% off your first month at BetterHelp.com slash belly. Shop Native's holiday collection today by going to NativeDO.com slash belly or use promo code belly at checkout and get 20% off your first order. And finally, the easy way to buy a gift for your male companions, like what I'm going to do for George, your bros, your homies, if you will, uh, is Mancrates. Now through December 23rd, buy one item, get a second item for 
not 1%, but 50% off at mancrates.com slash belly. And to get your question like this person earlier, you can email us at adviceunhelpful at gmail.com. Send us something we haven't heard before because the chances you'll get your uh, email read by me is very high. Once again, so that's advice on helpful gmail.com. We love you guys so much. George, give us a good smile and wink to the camera. Oh, that's so far away, but uh, bad time. Love you guys. Couple